What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Caspa today at the request of Flower Child. Uh, Teresa, we're doing this one for you. Looking at this here, what a weekly close we had. We moved up 40.6%. The volume was decent. Wasn't the highest volume we've seen on Binance, and this is probably the most volume that you've seen on, on any chart, really. But if we go, you know, Caspa USD on Kraken, Pretty decent volume. I didn't know it was on Kraken. Yeah, that's new. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Um, on. I want to get it on maybe Mexi KuCoin. KuCoin. Still not a lot of volume, but again, you're getting that volume more so on Kraken and Binance probably. Um, <clears throat> rejecting your overbought zone is is the look that we have right now. It's not certified. It's not validated, but that is a look that we have right now. It does somewhat seem kind of like a double top. That can be disproven. That can be invalidated if we get a weekly to close above a dollar forty-three. Sorry, fourteen point three six cents. Not a dollar. Fourteen point three six cents. If a week can close above there, which it has not, we might be in breakout time. It might be time to go up. And the lower prices that I've been calling for um, since like these weeks here. I mean, really since back here, but like really like since these weeks, um, they would go away. We would be talking about the upside again. And this thing loves to prove me wrong, so, so do it, Casper. You know you want to. Uh, let's see. Mexi, longer chart here. The reason why I'm calling for uh, lower prices is from the first all-time high to that low there, 76% drop. This one here, we had a 56% drop. This one here, we had a 72% drop. And so far, we have only seen, I say only, but a 40% drop. <clears throat> That'd be the smallest drop we've seen so far with arguably the largest phase of expansion without seeing a significant correction. So I would think that we go lower. I would think that we would at least see a 50% drop somewhere around seven cents with the potential out of, you know, out of the three, we've seen more be a 70% drop. We could see all the way down below five cents again, but I, I personally don't expect that we'll get below these lows. So I think somewhere around five to five and a half cents is more, more likely. I very much do, even with last week, still think that's possible, but I can be wrong. You know, rejecting off this overbought zone is not a friendly look in, in my opinion, but you did it here. You rejected the overbought zone. You did move lower, but then you moved up higher. Could you be doing something similar? Could you be forming a base, but not a base, like a top, a flat top, getting higher lows, consolidating, and then breaking out kind of like you did last time? It's possible. Uh, looking at the daily, overbought, pretty overbought, but not the hottest you've ever been, right? Let's just put a line like right where you are. You've only been more overbought than this on one, two, three, four, five, six different occasions. So you are pretty overbought, All right? You've been underbought by like by that same metric, or, or around here, one, two, three, four, five. I wouldn't count that as six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten times. Maybe this would be. This is actually probably the eleventh time. So um, you could see in each of these times, right? You saw a move that went to the oversold zone here. You saw a move that took you below the fifty. You saw a move that took you around the fifty. <clears throat> a move that took you below the fifty, inevitably. A move that took you below the fifty, inevitably. This one here took you near the oversold zone. I would think at least around the fifty is probably where you'd pull back. And if you were to do that. Um, on a daily basis, pulling back to your 50, I would doubt that you'd see lower lows. And to be fair, it was like only once or twice that you actually went to the oversold zone. So um, I'm kind of curious, man. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't go to that five to seven cent area. Maybe you do hold higher lows. Maybe this is one of the smallest. The Out of all your significant pullbacks, this might be the least significant as far as, or maybe it's the most significant, but, but it's the least uh, percentage-wise, which is significant in a sense of strength. Um, <clears throat> you might be going down to form a higher low, but I do think you're going down from here. I wouldn't buy here personally. I don't think that it's, there's any reason to FOMO here. If I'm wrong and it takes off without me or without you, you know, that sucks. Don't base your financial decisions off of what I'm saying. This isn't financial advice, but I would wait. We're at previous areas of resistance. I would expect some kind of pullback. 
a regular retracement would take us at least, at a minimum, to 12.42 cents, if not 11 to 10 cents, somewhere in that area. Yeah, and I would look for that 61869 area to be support, but at least 12.42, that's my, my opinion. So that's CASPA, looking good, looking like you wanna go down though. And the original targets that I've had uh, before this video for prices down at about five to six cents, somewhere around there, potentially even lower, but I, I would say five to six cents, um, maybe even seven cents, uh, they're still on the table. But that can change, that can change, that can definitely change. Um, and I, I am a little bit more hopeful that you might not see lower lows in this, but time will tell. So with that, I leave you. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.